Hello class, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will teach you guys how to divide polynomials using synthetic division. So let's have example number one. Use synthetic division to divide 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 16x plus 5 by x minus 5. So ang first step natin dito guys, para ma-apply natin yung synthetic division is we need to arrange the coefficients ng ating dividend in descending powers of x. Pag sinabing descending powers of x, yung degree or yung exponent ng variable natin is pababa. Okay? So dito, yung may highest exponent natin is yung x cubed. Okay? So ang una natin ilalagay na number dito sa baba is yung, yung kanyang coefficient which is 2. Followed by x squared. So ang coefficient natin is negative 7. Followed by x, so that is negative 16. Then, ang last number natin, of course, is yung constant. Okay? So, uh, make sure guys na maglalagay kayo ng 0 if ever na meron kayong missing terms. No? But since dito sa example 1 natin, wala namang missing terms, so hindi natin kailangan maglagay ng 0. Okay? So, ang next step natin is place the value of r in the upper left. So, maglalagay tayo dito ng R sa ating upper left ng ating solution. So, normally guys, si R is makikita niyan yan kay divisor. Okay? Ang divisor sa synthetic division guys is in the form lagi yan ng X minus R. Okay? So, kung ang form ng divisor natin is X minus R, then ang ating divisor is X minus 5, meaning, ang R natin is equals to so, siya yung ilalagay natin dito sa upper left ng ating solution or ng diagram. Okay? So, next. Pwede na natin ngayon i-apply or gamitin si synthetic division. So, ang first step natin guys dito is ibibring down natin si positive 2. Ilalagay natin dito sa ating quotient area. Okay? Then, after natin magawa yan, Imumultiply nyo lang yung ating quotient doon sa ating divisor, which is 5. So, 2 times 5, that is 10. Okay, then isusulat nyo dito sa may second row. Then, after nyo makuha yung product, ipagpa-plus lang natin itong dalawa. So, we have negative 7 plus 10, that is 3. Okay, then same procedure lang tayo hanggang sa makapunta tayo sa dulo. So, multiply natin si 3 dun sa ating divisor na 5. So, 3 times 5, that is 15. Then, after natin ulit makuha yung product, i-combine lang natin yan. Negative 16 plus 15, that is negative 1. Okay? Then, after natin makuha si negative 1, multiply ulit natin kay 5. So, negative 1 times 5, that is negative 5. Then, after yung makuha yung product, combine. 5 minus 5 or 5 plus negative 5, that is 0. Okay, so this will be now our quotient. Yun nga lang, yung mga quotient natin dito is puro coefficients lang. So, para natin ngayon kukunin si variable. So, babalik tayo ngayon doon sa ating given. Okay? So, take note that the degree ng ating quotient is 1 less than the degree ng ating dividend. So, ang degree ng ating dividend is 3. So, ang degree ng ating quotient is squared or 2. Okay? So, ngayon, lalagyan na natin yung ating mga variables. We have x squared, then decreasing to. We have x, then yung constant. Okay? So, Pag magsusulat na kayo ng quotient ngayon, so ang ating leading term is, is imumultiply natin to. So ang leading term natin is 2 times x squared, that is 2x squared. Followed by 3 times x, that is positive 3x. Then ito naman, yung negative 1, this will be our constant. Then yung 0, ito yung ating remainder. So since 0 naman, hindi na natin kailangan ilagay pa yan dun sa ating quotient. Okay? So this will be now our final answer. Okay? So, nakuha ba guys? So, let's have example number 2. 
Number 2, divide x raised to 4 minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 by x plus 1 using synthetic division. So again, our first step is we need to arrange the coefficients okay, of, our div of our dividend in descending powers of x placing zeros for the missing terms. So as you notice guys, yung ating terms dito is parang may nawawala. Okay, or may missing. So, as you notice, yung highest exponent natin is 4, then followed by 2 kagad. So, meaning to say, ang nawawala nating variable is yung ating x cubed. So, kapag kaganyan guys, kailangan mag-add pa rin tayo ng 0 sa ating coefficients mamaya. Okay? So, lagay na natin ngayon. So, ang ating leading coefficient is 1, which is galing doon sa x raised to 4, followed by 0, Dun sa ating x cubed, followed by negative 2, dun sa ating x squared, then negative 3x, yung negative 3, then yung ating constant. Okay? Then after natin magawa yan, guys, is ilalagay ulit natin yung r dito sa ating upper left. Then yung r is manggagaling yan dun sa ating divisor, which is x plus 1. But as you notice, yung ating divisor is naka plus. Then yung r is galing siya dun kay x minus r. So ang gagawin nyo lang dyan is ipa-factor out natin yung negative dun kay 1. So kung maglalabas tayo ng negative dito kay 1, yung 1 natin sa loob is magiging negative 1. Okay? So kung makapansin nyo, yung r na natin dito is equals to negative 1. Okay? So, yan na yung ating ilalagay dito sa ating upper left. So, next, pwede na natin i-apply yung ating synthetic division. So, ang first move ulit natin dito is bring down the first coefficient, which is 1. Then, lahat ng quotient dito sa last row, i-multiply natin or times natin dun kay R. Hanggang sa makapunta tayo dun sa dulo. Okay? So, try natin. So, 1 times negative 1, that is negative 1. Then, i-add lang natin to 0 plus negative 1, we have negative 1. Then, multiply again to r. Negative 1 times negative 1, that is positive 1. Then, combine negative 2 plus 1, that is negative 1. Next, multiply ulit natin. Negative 1 times negative 1, we have positive 1. Then, combine negative 3 plus 1, we have negative 2. Then, negative 2 times yung r, which is negative 1, that is positive 2. Then, 4 plus 2, we have 6. So, ito na ngayon yung ating uh, mga coefficient sa ating quotient. Okay, so, ang hahanapin naman natin ngayon is yung mga variable nila. So, ang degree ng ating dividend is 4. So, meaning, ang degree ng ating quotient is 3. So, laging ganun na laging minus 1 lang. So, ang ating uh, degree is 3. So, decreasing na yan, guys. So, kung cube yan, ang next yan is squared. Followed by x, then constant. Okay? So, kung magsusulat na kayo ng quotient natin, so, ang gagawin nyo lang, multiply nyo yung ating coefficient dun sa variable. So, 1 times x, x cubed, that is x cubed. Ito na ngayon yung ating leading term. Then, negative 1 times x squared, that is negative x squared. Then, negative 1 times x, that is negative x. Then, yung negative 2, that will be our constant. Then, kung makapansin nyo, meron pa tayong isa pang number. So, meaning, yung 6, ito yung ating remainder. Okay? So, pagka magsusulat kayo ng remainder, guys, lagi nyo lang gagawin dyan is magpa-plus kayo yung ating remainder divided by nung ating divisor, which is x plus 1. So, ganyan magsulat ng remainder. Okay? So, this will be now our final answer. So, nakuha ba, guys?
So this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So thank you guys for watching. This is Prof D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!